We are previewing now the college volleyball season for 2024. Our stop today is Seward, Nebraska, and we get to visit with Ben Bolt, who is the head coach for the Concordia Bulldogs. Seventh season, that's what you're heading into, Coach, but let's talk about season number six for just a moment because it was a fantastic year as well. Another 25-win season. You go 14-2 and two in GPAC play. The number one team in the country in the rankings a couple of times over the course of the season. You make the NAI tournament one more time. So I, there were so many, and so many great players, by the way, on that team as well. I, I'd love for you to uh, bring us up to speed and, and talk a little bit about last year. Uh, I mean, last year was a it was a great season. Uh, it was a it was a fun trip. Um, you know, I th I think that it was a it was a fun last go round for the COVID seniors for for Bree and Cam, and uh, it was a it was a lot of good experience for our younger kids. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, uh, I mean, it, we're we're not going to live and die based on wins and losses. Um, but you know, we're going to focus on the process and and continue to focus on on getting better every day. Um, so I, I think that that is a. Uh, what we went through, um, you know, the successes, the failures in, in, uh, in last year's team is, is, uh, is going to put us right uh, it, where we need to be, um, going to have us in the right experiences for where we need to go. So um, that's kind of how we see it. Um, and, you know, I mean, you, you got to stay in the moment along the way. I mean, we, we won our first GPAC regular season title, which was, uh, you know, it was one of our goals. And it's something, if you ask our players, it's something that's a big motivator for them. So it was awesome to see us accomplish that. And, you know, we, we can't get enough of that feeling. Well, coach, I always appreciate your, your attitude and, and your perspective on things uh, and, and not living and dying with the wins and losses too, but you did have an, a, a number of good wins too. 127 and 47 in your career, in your time, at Concordia, and obviously things are going the right direction, at least from that numbers perspective. You mentioned Bree Birdwhistle and Cameron Opfer, and I, I don't know that that you and I have ever talked that I've I've had a, a preview where we didn't talk about Cameron Opfer at some point in time, so I'm glad we got to drop her name right there. But uh, there, there are going to be some gaps as well. I know that you've been able to fill a couple of spots by way of transfers. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so um, well, we have one transfer from this last season. Um, uh, Mesa Shireman is a she's a local kid. She grew up thirty minutes down the road, so um, uh, she's uh, she transferred in from South Dakota State, and um, so she's been with us ever since uh, this the spring semester started, and um, so she's a, a you know welcome addition, and um, you know to trying to figure out, you know, exactly how things are going to go. Um, we actually had uh, Ella Waters on our team this this last season. Uh, she was an, an ineligible at, at that time, but um, we're, we're super excited to, to um, get her on the floor and see what she's going to do. And she's... Uh, I think that that time for her in our in our program has has just been awesome because she's kind of seamlessly integrated herself back into that. So those are two of the transfers that we've had. Um, and, you know, I mean, for us, it's a it's a fun puzzle. It's a good problem to have on trying to figure out what our team is going to look like. You know, I don't exactly know. I can't for sure exactly say what that's going to be right now, um, but uh, there's a lot of great competition and, you know, honestly, I, I just, I think that our team is, um, it, they're connected and, uh, it's, it's pretty fun to, to see how people are competing together. Well, fortunately, I, I guess you have a little less than two months to figure out more what that puzzle will look like prior to the, the start of the regular season. We'll talk about that in just a moment. We're visiting now with Ben Bolt from Concordia. And another name that I did want to mention, you talked about COVID years and, and one more opportunity for Gabby Nordiker coming back in the middle. And, and she's been a staple for the program as well. Yeah. And she's been, it seems like she's been here just as long as we have, you know, she was uh, maybe our first, uh, maybe our second recruiting class in here. And I mean, you said seven years, I, I still feel like we're newbies here, but um, you know, it, it's uh Gabby's been here a long time, you know, so she, she knows the ropes, um, you know, it, and, you know, we set out a challenge there for her uh, to continue to get better. And, you know, honestly, I think that she's had a great mentality through the off season um, this summer so far, she's been, she's been killing it in the weight room. So 
you know, I think that she has a, a really good mentality going into this last go around for her. And, you know, she's, she's somebody that just loves volleyball. So, um, she, I think that she'll probably be a coach. I don't know exactly, uh, uh, she, where she's going to finish in volleyball, you know, I mean, she, she might just, it, she might find a international team and try to hop on there and, and play until she's 40, you know, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that happens, but she, we're certainly excited to have her back for another year. You got some offensive production from Ashley Keck last year as well. And I know that uh, you're trying to make sure that uh, you, you have people to attack strong uh, that's one of the areas that she can bring to the table. Talk a little bit about how you're going to get some offensive production this year. Yeah, I, we we had a, an open gym the other day, and um, Angie and I we came away from it. And it was just Ashley's a beast, you know. <laughs> like she she's out there, she's working hard. She's she's uh, she's one of our leaders in the weight room, um, you know. So she she's really pushing herself uh, to to get better. So. Um, you know, there's, there's little things that we work on with Ashley, but she, she can play the game all the way around. And, um, so really, yeah, really excited to see how that, how that all, um, you know, uh, how that all comes together, uh, this season. So, um, you know, I think, I think our team, it, we're, we're obviously, we're going to look different. Um, and, you know, I, I hope that, it, you know, one of the things that, that we try to, do and something that I think that we're we're proud of on our team is that we try to be a balanced team, you know. So, um, you know, it's not just going to fall all on one player uh, or anything like that. So, I, you know, I, th I think that that helps us be a stronger team, and I think that our I think our players have the right mentality for that, where they're they don't care where the kill comes from, you know. They don't they don't care who who gets the set, just as long as you know we're doing it at a high level. So, um, really excited to see how everybody contributes to that. Okay, Coach, I, I'm not going to ask for state secrets or anything. And I like you've already mentioned that the puzzle's not put together yet. But yeah. I would imagine with uh, with Bree having moved on that uh, the opportunities there, et cetera, there's going to be a little bit more competition there too. Talk about what that that looks like then with uh, it being a little bit look going a little bit different look going into this year. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's part of it. Uh, it's part of the, the whole, what the team is going to look like. Um, you know, if, if we were to play today, I, it would probably be in a, in a two setter system, uh, where setters coming from the back row and then we have three attackers in the front row. Um, but you know, once, once, uh, once you know, preseason happens, we're going to put all those things together, you know, what we think is best for the team and all that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, we've we've had four setters uh going at it uh, through the spring and we've got a freshman setter coming in um so you know it, it's it there's going to be competition there uh it kind of the beauty of the ni naia is that we're we're unlimited subs so you know i mean it's uh it's something where it might be a combo of something you know where somebody's a, a really good server let's say you know let's let's put them in the serve and then uh we can we can uh have a, a setter come in in that position. So, you know, I just, I, again, I, I, I want to come back to balance and, you know, making sure it, that, that we're really hard to defend. So it's going to, it's going to come down to who can put us in the right positions and, and all that. Um, it, one of our returning senior setters is uh, Kelsey Hurd. She's from South Dakota. So we'll, we'll see, um, you know, she's, she's been a great leader for us, a uh, voice in our, in our gym. Savannah Shelburne is a she'll be a junior this next year, and and Lily Penzik as well, and then uh, we've got Lauren England who was a freshman last year, and they they've all been battling. So it's it's uh, it's it's really cool. It's really uh, it's really fun. They they compete and um, uh, get out there and and uh, see who can be the woman. All right. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing who comes out of that, and and. Uh, interested uh, to hear that that maybe a six two look even at some point in time. So that that's pretty cool, Coach. Things get underway August sixteenth, and you're going to get to be at home for the first couple of days. Lewis Clark State coming into Seward as well as Oklahoma City, and then you go on the road to Columbia for your next set of matches. Uh, talk a little bit about the opening to your season. Yeah, I just I I think that it, it's a fun schedule. You know, it's going to be a lot of top twenty five stuff. Um, you know, uh, Lewis Clark that they, they play out in the Cascade, which is a which is a great volleyball conference, and um, they've had a, a coaching turnover in the last year or two. But um, 
uh, their, their coach up there, I think she's doing a great job. And, uh, you know, I think that she wants, she wants them to, to have a, a tough, um, schedule and, and really get them prepared. And that's, that's really the ultimate goal for us too, is to, is to be prepared nationally and be prepared for the G pack. Um, so, you know, the, those, those tournaments we're, we're looking to, we're looking forward to getting started. The Columbia tournament's going to be a bear, you know, it's going to be a uh, defending national champion, Indiana Wesleyan there and Columbia and mid American Nazarene. So uh, all top teams that, that we're, that we're going up against and, you know, our teams, our, our team loves it. So, um, we, we got to be at our best. Um, there's, there's no, no days off. So, uh, that's, it, I think that, that just prepares you for, um, you know, for GPAC competition, conference competition, national competition. So that's where we want to be. Well, coach, uh, it's, again, it seems like that, uh, you have led the program to that right place where you want to be and, and you're there year in and year out. And it's, it's fun to look at some of those pre-conference tournaments and invitationals that sometimes those are some of the most fun to look at but the gpac schedule that's a that's a night in and night out challenge every single night so success to the bulldogs this year one more go around for you all heading into year seven uh, leading the program and we're going to follow you all all season long coach ben bolt thank you so much for taking time with us here on the summit as we preview college volleyball in 2024 that's awesome joey hope you have a great summer 